Hi everyone, welcome back to Napoleon Total War. Here we are, early July 1806. Um, things are uh, okay, ticking along nicely. We've had a couple of battles now. We've um, defeated the large rebel force that was camped out north of uh, Paris. So we've got that burden off our uh, food and tax productivity, because what they do, they loot and they you know, uh, cause all sorts of grief. Um, the good news is, we're slowly getting control of the French, <laughs> of the Parisians. Um, the ruling class, they're angry, but thanks to the um, our garrison and the town watch and the entertainment stuff which is coming back in, they are slowly calming down. Same with the lower class. Uh, they're angry, but they're they're no longer rioting, which is good. I'm not going to bring taxing just yet because that might just teeter them over the edge once more. Um, so devastation by the armies. This is what's causing some of the problems as well. Of course, that's why we're clearing out the rebel uh, forces was a bit of a a thing. We've also got French forces loitering around our territory, uh, and a Swiss force over here as well, uh, and more rebels there. So. Yeah, we're going to start trying to expunge them off our land to uh, get things up and running. What we could do, if, when we get some money, is maybe um, improve Paris a little bit to try and calm the uh, the folk down a little bit more, and more quickly as well. And then we can start maybe to introduce a bit of tax and get some revenue from Paris, because for the last, well, last little while anyway, that's been a bit of a tax burden for us. But um, it's okay, the rest of the uh, territories are pulling their weight, which is good. We've got um, one of our fleets here under uh, Elphinstone, and we've got, obviously got the three cannon uh, units, which we're going to send down to Gibraltar. Um, yeah, unfortunately, even though the, the cannons were... We built this sloop hero in Portsmouth and loaded the cannon onto them. For some bizarre reason... From them sailing out to sea, obviously I sent uh, the sloop and a 38-gun 5th rate to keep an escort uh, down to Gibraltar. Uh, for some reason, mid-journey, they've moved the cannon onto a different ship. Can you believe it? So, um, yeah. Why that, that happened, I don't know. But um, we're going to have to send them back to go and collect the actual ship with the cannons, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. Um, over here... Did we not get the... What's this one here? Ah, this is the one, the Merchantman. Yeah, I thought we had a Merchantman and a 32-gun frigate which needs repair. So we'll get them into Gibraltar next time and get them repaired. Um, how much is... I don't suppose we can get a merchant ship from here, can we? No, this is just purely a... Um... Ooh, so we'll be, able, we'll be able to repair the merchant ship there. I hope so. Um, we'll find out anyway. Uh, what we do need to do is maybe create some more merchant ships and send them down to um, utilize a little bit more. Here we go, this little harbour here. It's only a small trading port. Oh, he's got a... I'm ahead of myself. I've already requested a merchant ship to be built, which is great. What about... Um, everything's going through Portsmouth anyway. Uh, sorry, not Portsmouth. Bristol anyway, so... I don't want to put too much through the same port. Is there a port up in Scotland? What about um, little Glasgow? 540 for um, a trade ship. So, okay, we'll get one from Glasgow next time as well. well that's, the, that's the current state of play. Down here in Gibraltar, our forces are looking strong. Put those three cannon units in there. And that's, that's, that's a half-decent force. Can certainly defend the... Uh, <laughs> the Rock of Gibraltar and the uh, surrounding lands, but um, yeah, we want to push into uh, onto Madrid really, and that's what our next task will be. Okay, as late July 1806 rolls around, we're bankrupt again. Oh my goodness me, our well, expenditure is um, it's not looking good. The Velour Mutiny, the sons of Tipu Sultan, the former ruler of Mysore, recently instigated a rebellion. Um, of the Sepoys against the British East India Company at Valor in southern India. Although it lasted only 
uh, for one day, the mutineers, mutineers sorry, caused 200 British casualties. Crikey. So we have a merchant ship um, off in the Irish port. Uh, we've got a foot, unit of foot in England and a unit of foot uh, of uh, light dragoons in England. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, you may, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit, I've got a bit of a head cold, so brain really not working. So today's going to be exciting. Who knows what can happen. Right, let's get our um, trade ship out there. Now, which ship has got the... Uh, is it Elphinstone, is it your ship that's got the... No, it's not yours. Okay. Is it this one? No. Okay, you join up with Elphinstone. So it's this, this frigate. Okay. So we'll move them that way. And then we'll send this frigate back the other way. And we might as well get this sloop merged with this uh, merchant ship. And we'll escort the merchant ship down there as well. Good. Right, okay, lovely. <laughs> right, they kind of sorted that issue right. Right, so we've got no cash to spend this time, which is a bit of a bit of a blow. Um let's have a look at our um trade. Where are we falling down? Uh total income from exports to trade partners nine thousand two hundred and sorry, nine thousand and twenty seven pounds. So, protective income, minus 2,000. So, our army upkeep is killing us. Uh, we need to get, obviously, these trade ships. We've lost some couple of trade ships, which we need to... Um, which will bring in some more cash. Um, but, yeah, we need to... Uh, our army upkeep is twice our navy upkeep. Okay, we need to start using our army to um, to sort of pay for itself. Fleet ready. Uh, what I'm going to do, then, I'm actually going to send you... Is that... That's ivory. I'm going to send you, even in your stricken state, over there. And there you go. There's a thousand coming in from the ivory. Orders. I am going to send you back to Gibraltar way, for the time Captain. being. Um, we've got to, Nelson's fleet here. Where's the other half of that fleet? Ah, it's here. Okay. So, um, these are actually warships sitting on there. So that thousand is from that battered old ship. So that's good. So, Ottoman Empire trades with them and Spain as well. So I'll stick him on this trade route here to protect our fort, our force there. There we go. Nice. Um. And we've got Nelson patrolling over here. I don't know who is trading there. Should I send Nelson up to go and investigate? Let's go and see who's up there. If it's a Spanish or a French ship, then we can... Give them hell. Oh, it's empty. Okay, what's sugar going for at the moment? Uh, sugar's going for 34 gold, or 34 pounds. Um, it's second only to ivory. Oh, so I think we might grab that spot. What, what's that one? That's sugar as well. That's the Portuguese who got that one. We've got tea. Tea is currently 23. It's not a lot, but we know how important tea is. I think that Denmark are on there. We're friends with Denmark. Right, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to get one of these ships up there. Oh, actually, we've got that ship coming down. Which, But anyway, we're going to try and nick that port. Let's try and get those sugar. We'll get the both two ships on there. So we've got two lots of tea coming in. So hopefully that will uh, increase the coppers a little bit uh, next time. Uh, let's get those ships to be moved. So that's all good. So Navy actions have been complete. There's not much I can do in the UK army-wise. I think these are the two units we trained up here. Yeah, we got some units there. Okay, they defend Blighty. That's good. Now, we've got a large French force mustering in Orleans, and we've got the rebels there. What I might do... We've got the Swiss here. What, let's have a look. What have they got? they got um, three, four units of foot and two units, or two units of cavalry, basically. Uh, one bodyguard and one uh, normal cavalry. 
Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get um, old Stole out. Right. You can stay back. And you, uh, let's see. Let's grab everyone. You can stay back. And let's keep a couple of forces back. Just to keep that whole. Uh, yeah, I'll leave another one. I'm going to come around here. More orders. And we're going to see if we can um, challenge these guys and see what they do. And we can always always move Arthur Wellesley out to attack them. And that would be the two kind of bugging forces, which is sort of draining our resources. Um, can we get to them? Or do we want to? Because that's in the woods. And Let's come over to the Battle of Harry. Let's come there. Let's get in front of them. It looks like a nice bit of high ground. Just there on the high ground. And uh, if they want to come to Paris, then we've got the high ground and they can challenge us first. Nice. Right. Um, so we've positioned there. I want those guns down here before I move this army out. I think we're uh, good to go otherwise. So they took our bait. Uh, Dominique Van Damme has brought his army out to face Michael Stoll. Um, they've got the advantage of numbers, yet they do not have any artillery. They have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 units of foot, 4 units of light cavalry, and the general's unit. Um, and I've just noticed that we've only got one unit of foot, really. Mm. Mm. We're going to have to be very defensive with our way of thinking here. Not only are we outnumbered, but we've only got one unit that can form square as well. So, got to be very careful with these cavalry. Very careful indeed. Okay, after much debating, I have settled on this. I hadn't, haven't defended this uh, plateau here. Um, I've got this plateau here with the cannon on it, and we've got these guys guarding, plus dragoons behind them. Uh, any forces that can try and push up there. Um, we then got the rather open um, plains here, which we've got another set of cannon on this high rise here, which will try and cut down the uh, the horse and foot as it comes towards us. Don't forget, they don't have cannons, so we can expose ourselves a little bit, as long as we're okay against the horse. At the end, we've got the line of foot, which can form square. We've got Dragoons backing them up behind. Um, it's not perfect, I grant you. It's kind of all I can think of to do. <laughs> you know, it, the, I fear that if we try... and oh, I can't go that far forward anyway. If we try and hold this ground here, you know, they can shoot up at us, and we might not be able to shoot down at an angle or, you know... I don't know how the uh, mechanics would work quite with that. So we've just gone with the four basic standout and we'll try and use the cannon to maximize our destructive impact to uh, minimize their better soldiers, basically. So let's start the battle. Uh, let's get our cannon. cannon ready, sir. Um, oh, they are. Right, put some shots on the horses, please. Oh god, that looked devastating. Um, right, you, by all means, have a shot at the general. Uh, we are going to try. Oh, he's, he's hiding behind the the rocky formation, which I don't blame him. But um, if we can get a cannon through there. That'll be grand. Right, straight away, let's get them to form square. And we'll bring the Dragoons out onto the high ground there. What I'm also going to do is get these guys to angle. Right, you concentrate on them. Bring our yes, dragoons sir. out hit here. Yes, sir. Right, can we go to cancer shot? Not quite, but by the time they reload, we should be good. Slightly out of range. 
Right, I'm going to bring them back here. Let the square whittle their defences down. That is the danger. Over here. Dragoons engage. The cannon, switch to them. Okay. Focus on them. Shooting our own men. Right. Dragoons attack. Canister. Right, we need to get these cavalry dealt with quickly, which we, I believe, have. Good. Form line. Form line. Form line. Canister shot. Get them. Canister shot. Hold, man. Hold. Order. Fire when you can. Ready, sir. Sort your line out. Quickly, boys. Right, where's me? Did my dragoons survive? Yeah, they did. There they are. Come around. Try and get the general. Can't Cheap shot. Up. Right. Don't chase them. In fact, just just put it in. Just put as much fire into that mass of French bodies as you can. Oh, that was devastating. Love it. Right. Switch to facing that way. Finish them off, please. Holding, it's okay. Keep firing, right? Let's get you marching. Can you come over here? Can you get guns tilted down there? Yeah, you can. Brilliant. Oh yeah, brilliant. Okay, I think we're okay now. The worst of it's over. We got some. Um, problems here but right get the general give him a volley of absolute artillery badness with him gone I think the army will crack okay the general survived that which was the general ah oh, is that him there Right. Cease fire. Look at the dragoons charging in. Halt, don't run. Shoot them in the back. Right. You hit them. You can get them actually, 66 of them. Go and finish them off. Right, cannon stop firing. Glorious victories, huh? Charge. Oh, 
Oh, some of our boys got in the way. Alright, there we go. Chase them. This is for, right, General. Try and finish these guys off if you can. Continue. We want to route them. Kill as many as we can. So we don't have to face them again. Oh, I think these guys are going to get away. And after a decisive victory, apparently, um, Dominique Van Damme's army of 1,362 has been reduced to a meager 153 survivors. Uh, Michael Stoll's army of 1,102 um, now remains at 704 after 398 loss. Oh, that army survived? Really? I bet the rebels are going to come in for a piece now. And in early August 1806, port blockaded, uh, Cheltenham Docks. Let's have a look. What's going on up here then, eh? Oh, it's the French. The good news is, of course, we learnt from our issue last time, we put some forces into the port. Um, so they can't actually destroy the port, capture the port, but there's a French ship. We don't know what. It won't tell us. So, um... Let's get these together. They may not actually have. <laughs> now that I've done that, they may not have the uh, energy to make it to um, the dock. But we're going to send them over there anyway, and we'll clear them out next time. If we're not going to be able to do it this time. A bit of bad news, uh, not disaster, but blooming Russia has jumped in and snuck onto the sugar trade point. Uh, maybe I should put Nelson actually on it. Uh, so we'll send. Um, that's Portugal. What we got there? That's T. We haven't got that one. Right, so I'm going to send that one over here to um, the Ivory, because that's the most expensive one. A bit of a blow, that, isn't it? We've got this 38-gun frigate. We'll get them merged. These are the ones with the cannons. And we'll get that army coming... Uh, that, that fleet's coming down here. We've got a trade ship in there. Uh, which we'll send to the ivory as well. Um, still not earning cash. We are still 7,000 in the negatory. How did we get so bad so quickly? Uh, income's obviously dropped. Trade income. 3,700. 3, oh, because of the blockade with the French ship. Of course... Sorry. Yes, I was thinking, well, we got the trade ship, but anyway, yes. Okay, that makes sense. So, um, okay. Stoll's doing that. We'll get that one there. So in a couple of turns, we should be okay. Um, so meanwhile, that French rebels moved away. Obviously, oh, hang on. No, where are they? They're there. They moved away. They didn't... I thought they were going to attack Michael Stoll as well. Yes. What we can do to try and save a bit of cash is merge some of these units... There we go. Um, there we go. I think that's probably enough, isn't it? So he's got a smaller force, but it means less to um, repair and uh, redeploy. We've got another Battle of Orleans, 1806. Now that's under our control. We could push on and try and finish that army off. Let's do that. So there we go. Michael Stoll's got his um, blood up, and oh, it's got a minimum force. The generals, I don't know. Did he did he die? And we just didn't get notification of it. Who knows? Okay, here we are. And um, we got these stone walls, which are a thing. Maybe if I put my cannon here, we can fire at them. We'll put one cannon this side. Battery reporting. Where's the other cannon? Down, down in the dip. No, we don't want them there. We'll put them here, over here. Six if you wouldn't mind just popping out the way. We'll pop them in there. Artillery reporting. Actually, Militia. can we just Six get them ready. just there? Uh, a bit close to that wall, probably. 
I want them some. There, there we go. It's better. Right. Um, I'm half tempted to get these guys to run up to the wall and defend. Where is the the unit? There they are. I'm gonna pop you there. Yes, sir. So you can form square. I will put you out on that flank as well. Dragoons reporting. Dragoons, you come on. We don't need too big a flank on this one. We need to keep it nice and tight. I'll probably charge the horses right down the middle, which is fine. We'll get the general and the, the, those guys on that flank, which is grand. We're probably a little bit too fast spread out, but there we go. Get both artillery onto the horse to begin with. go. The captain's dead. Which is good. jean frederic Fouché. Or Fouché. Yeah, you're, you're, you're not days numbered, boys. Oh! Yeah, I don't, I don't blame them. I really do not blame them. All right. Focus on the first line of foot. 47 in that unit. 28 in that one. That should be a bit of a blood bath. We can finish them off with the artillery. All the better. Another. It's like Skittles, isn't it? It's like a brutal game of Skittles. Right, how far are we from? Reporting. Carcass shot, yep. Cat canister shot. Why do I keep calling it carcass shot? My brain. Because that's what it deals with, apparently. Creates carcasses. Right, they're giving that right. Cannon, stop. Finish them off. Let's not see them again on the battlefield. Attention, our cavalry. Maintenez vos positions. <laughs> that wasn't the unit they were attacking, but they kind of just trampled on them at the same time. They won all the glory, apparently. Slashing them down with the sabers. Made a good decision to run for the woods, to be fair. He's got the best chance of uh, outmaneuvering a horse Sir. in the woods. Sir, our general is under attack. No, he's not. Just gone in to slice some uh, ears off rabbits, basically. Apparently, there's some French troops in there. I can't see. Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Aha! I've evaded them in the bush once more. Haha! I am the sneaky Frenchman. Oh, he's doing well, actually. Get him, boys! What? Look at this guy! Old Houdini here! 
I don't know where he is. Oh, they got him. There we go. Houdini's dead. Where's the other unit? There we go. They, they finished him off coming through this small village. So, a good victory for us. Michael Stoll um, lost one troop, um, but managed to see off jean frederic Fouché, or Fouché, his army, and uh, get rid of their numbers so we shouldn't see them anymore. Nice. Orleans is ours. Right. Um, Your orders, Your you're kind of in, in conflict with those. Have we got any more French troops coming out? Not yet. I'm going to bring him back to the road above Paris, though. Just so the troops they got can um, recuperate. Orders. We can always fill some troops in from uh, Wellesley's army as well, should we need to in a push. Good. So that should take a lot of burden off... Um, this area in terms of looting and that kind of thing yeah so devastation of the armies has been reduced excellent yes see growth is growing now hey it's growing happy days um, and look anger is maybe we can could we tempt a bit of tax Ooh, that didn't go down well and it actually destroys growth get 500 which is going to be nowhere near um, enough to uh, so there's no point let's try and keep people happy get the growth and then once we can we'll tax it and, uh, and then try and get these obviously we need to get this freed up next time to um, open up our trade port as well um, we've got these guys coming down we've got more ships going to the ivory um, trade point, which should bring in more cash. Okay. And in late August 1806, new technology. We've made an advance with carronades. The nation has further developed their military technology with the intention of gaining advantage over the enemy in battle. This weapon is a short barreled muzzle loading cannon that can be mounted on the upper decks of warships. The carronade differ from normal warships' long guns by having a shortened barrel relative to the weight of the shot. Short barrels require reduced gun power charges. Large charges would be wasted because it would not have time to burn properly. This gives a reduced muzzle velocity, less recoil and a lighter weapon. As a further benefit, carronades require fewer gunners to fire them. There is, however, a tactical price to pay. Caron uh, carronades are short range weapons in close, but only in close they can do fearful slaughter. Historically, the cannonade was developed by the Caron Company of Fife, Scotland. It was a huge success initially, as the weight of shot more than made up for its short range. 68 pound carronade, uh, carronades were quite easily carried aboard even small ships. HMS Victory carried 68 pounder carronades as part of her armament. One uh, raking round shot and load of 500 musket balls did terrible slaughter on the gun deck of the Boussenchere in the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805. Ooh, I can imagine. I can imagine. There's a short range um, deck clearer. That would be terrifying, wouldn't it? Workers are in strike in England due to unacceptable levels. Okay, we're going to have to challenge that as well. Oh, man, we don't need this, England. England. What's going on? Bankruptcy. That's that's the, the big thing. Okay. Let's see if we can um, yes, my lord. get rid of this French yes, intruder. I have got the biggest of ships. But we do outnumber them. Let's find out. Oh, thank goodness. It's only a 38-gun frigate. <laughs> uh, Georges-Louis uh, de Moses. Uh, he's got a 38 gun frigate. We've got a um, 64 gun third rate, a Corvette 23 gun, and a 35 gun or 38 gun fifth rate, which has got a bit of damage, you can see. Okay, then, here's our little fleet. There they are. We are sailing into the wind. So I'm going to actually come this way into the wind a bit more and then turn uh, to port, and hopefully he'll turn to port as well. So here we go. This is um, the Hermione 64 gun. She's got a bit of damage. Is, is this our 
Corvette. It's got a bit damaged as well. These are not looking terribly healthy, are they? And this is our 38 gun with only 35 guns, Marlborough. Here's the French Devil. Maybe we could try and capture their ship, but... Right. Should we make that turn? And get a bit of wind then. If we can turn behind them, we can sort of rake her stern. Mine soaks up the blast. Oh, straighten up. He's uh, he's just sussed what we're doing, and he's he's just hit the brakes. Going for the Corvette that time. Right. Slow down she's a bit too close to her. Got the entire broadside waiting. Well, not the entire broadside. She's not going to get it loaded in time. That'll do. Pulling around her. Concerned with damage, yeah, brilliant. Alright, let's chase them. Are they gonna come back for more? They are! Well wow, he's he's I thought he was gonna make a run for it then. That's why I switched to uh chain. But no, he's gonna come sail back. What is he doing? Can't afford to repair his ship, so um, we may well just uh, try and finish them off. Glorious victories! Oh, he's he's Something sinking. He's sinking anyway. <laughs> Whee! All the frogs jump in the water. Down she goes. Brilliant. Victorious. Huzzah! George Elphinstone gets another victory. Fantastic. We don't get any money from it from capturing the ship or anything like that, but it does free up this £6,280 trade lane to come back into uh, to productivity. And then we're only... Look, we're only a 1000 in the red now. Oh, that's so much better. Has that calmed England's nerves? Not really. They've got to see the benefit of that. Okay, that's fine. So that's the first hurdle sorted. Uh, where is that the trade ship? Yes, it is. Let's get you on to... So this is currently doing 1,040 trade. Let's get another ship onto that, and that'll probably bump it up to about 1,500, 1,600. Hopefully. Any orders? 1,800. Oh, better than anticipated. So we're now only 367 in the negatory. Cool. We'll be turning a profit in no time, boys. Right, let's get these guys coming down here. We've got another trade ship which we'll probably just pop onto. Um, well, I'll, I'll get it onto Ivory actually. But I may pop it onto T in the short term just to. Um, just to uh, uh, make sure our current finances are better. I'm just going to put Nelson on the uh, trade lane as well. Just trying to depose the uh, enemy of some money. Good. Okay, and the guns are coming down to Gibraltar as well. So that that's all looking a little bit better. Uh, meantime, the rebel army has moved up here. I may... Lord? Yeah, I may give... A um, couple of units of foot. 
into Elphinstone's oh. army. And let's get rid of them off our land. Now oh, they're running away, are you? You cowards! What's this? Look. Enemy army withdraws. Fran Francois Marie Chaffe or Chaffee. Uh the rival army oh, carried by the strength of your military has turned tail. Well, chase them. They're in the woods. It's not Wash great. Like but I want to clear them off the map. Uh oh wow. He's got unit of heavy cavalry, six pounder unit. Um, some line infantry and then militia. I shouldn't have worried, but they are causing un, you know, untellable damage to like our farms and stuff as they go and raiding. So we need to clear them out. Okay, good news is we are we are not in the woods. <laughs> Brilliant, that worked out rather well. So um. What have we got? We've got two cannon, of course. Probably in the middle section here is a good place to put some cannon. Oh, let's put a big cannon there, shall we? Yeah, that's nice. And probably back here, I'd say, as they come over that rise. We'll try and hit them hard. Can you go forward a little bit? Yeah, perfect. Right. Um, the line probably doesn't need to be that big. We've got Dragoons doing some weird stuff there. Go to Diamond Formation, there we go. Um, militia, Militia. Militia, Unit of foot, get on the side so you can form square. Take the flank, you can pop into there. And you can go onto this flank there, put you over there. Perfect! Right. Um, General, just come back here for a moment. Just because I, I can see that they're going to do exactly what I would do and try and target you. Right. Weather's delightful. Right, where's their guns? Over there. I think we probably don't fire at the, the cannon. They're probably going to be a waste of time. Uh, we'll wait for these guys to come over this ridge, and then we'll start the cannons onto them. Yeah, we seem to have the ridge between us. Right, you can now target them. First hit. The Dragoons are uh, making themselves scarce. <laughs> These poor guys. Right, let's send. Our dragoons uh, around there, and they're going to get the guns out of commission. Order. Reporting. Order. I'm going to send these dragoons out here, and they'll hopefully engage that. Well, ow! Um, you guys are okay. Okay, most of you are okay. That's good. Sarge, they really don't like us, Sarge. <laughs> they don't like it up, them, Sarge. Right. Let's get the dragoons into the clear their guns out of action. I'm hoping these dragoons over here will stop their dragoons coming for us. That's 
silent attack. No screaming. There we go. Good. Well, they are actually going for these Glorious guys. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. You um toddle that way. Wait for them to open up. Right, cannon. She can probably stop. Let's um mount you up. Like um, yeah. Let's get the uh, the cannon moved. Change plate positions and um. Right, uh, this cannon here. Focus on the larger groups. Nice volley. These are militia, so I'm not expecting them to put up too much of a fight. Here comes the heavies. Move them over there and we'll mop up what's coming. Charging um, heavies, but uh, we got the numbers. Hopefully, there we go. And their captain's dead. Right, cannon, halt. Continue. Let's try and mop these off the map again. Good. And hopefully Paris can become a taxable um, region very soon. And a decisive battle. Michael Stoll lost 13 troops. It has 1,162 remaining. And hopefully we've wiped out that uh, enemy. They've got 38 survivors. That should probably be the end of that uh, rebel army. It is. Good. So France is slowly coming back under our control. Right. Do you have. You don't have the juice to uh, get back, but have a wander back over here. Well done, Mike Stoll. Brilliant. So, apart from this Swiss army over here, that is most of the rebels gone, is it? Devastation army is 0.3 now. It looks bad, but it's actually a lot less. It was 0.6, wasn't it? So good. Oh, oh, oh! The ruling classes are now indifferent to us. Wow. And the lower classes are angry, but because um, the military cracked down, because we're getting rid of all the uh, the French rebels. Brilliant. So that's good news. France is almost tolerant of us. This is fantastic. <laughs> this, is, this is really good. Okay, we've got the um, issues in the UK, haven't we? Um, uh, Patriot Feelings is buoyed by the great victories and in going into war with... Okay, so that's helping. That's helping. Um, tax burden is a bit, I know. I know it's... We were at war, though. Tax is going to be high. Um, hopefully... I know they've gone on strike, but hopefully... They will see that we are we, we're going to be prosperous in a couple of turns again. Um, our cost of the army hasn't much changed, um, but we should we, we're actually in profit now. We're in profitability because we've cleared out the um, the armies that were costing us, and we cleared out that French blockade ship. Uh, so we're actually going to be turning a profit of three hundred coins. That's that's a turnaround. That is a turnaround, and we've got more trade ships going down. So. 
Huh. Oh, hello. A little Spanish ship coming to say hello. In early September 1806, a letter of demand has landed on our desk. From England? Your noble class has written a letter objecting to the recent ta tax increases, demanding that they be returned to prior levels. I wasn't aware we did raise taxes, did we? Failure to answer their ultimatum could lead to directest of, uh, the direst of con consequences. If the nobles can rally the common folk around them, they could bring an armed uprising against the government. Oh, for Pete's sake. We, as if we haven't got enough problems with the French. The English are now causing us problems. The workers riot in, in the musket factory. Okay. Population killed, 964. Workers are on strike in France. The people of this region have down tools and gone on strike cause their um, national uh, the cause of their national identity which they feel is compromised by that of your own well going on strike actually reinforces the french stereotype <laughs> spine network established ooh sir henry hayes having spent several weeks associating with blackguards and bounders in the underbelly of the city your spy has established a reliable network of local informants. He will now be able to provide you with a steady stream of intelligence about the region. Oh, okay, this is this is the region we already own anyway. I didn't know that was a thing that could happen if you... Interesting. Right. Um, Edmund Cartwright, gentleman, has gained taxidermist. By my experience, sir, there is many a gentleman who would benefit from a good stuffing. Indeed. Right, so we've got our port here, which obviously also something we need to clear out um, to get the money back. We'll get our... Actually, what have they got there? Four units of troops and cavalry. Okay, Michael. His name's not Michael. Yes, it is Michael Stoll. Um, I have a wonder this way, sir. Your next job is to clear that Swiss army out of our region. Oh, look at that. 161 gold! That's obviously been spent on troops being recu uh, recuperating and uh, replenished. We've got a Spanish raider over here, which we may finish off. Meantime, where's our fleet? Here it comes. Right, into Gibraltar. And our Gibraltar army is almost ready to step foot on Spanish soil. These guns have been a long time getting down here, haven't they, eh? But, um, they're there. They finally made it. Oh, that must be a relief. They don't have the energy to go there. Okay, that's fine. Right, naval power. What we got? A merchantman here. He hasn't got the range, but we're going to pop him there. Um, we'll probably just get rid of that Spanish Raider just for completion's sake. But yes, the guns have made it to Gibraltar, which is good news. Um, a bit of a French army down here, which is fine. We've cleared the majority of the troublemakers out of France, which is also good. Michael Stoll has had a couple of victories clearing out the French and the French rebel armies. He's now going to um, try and get rid of the Swiss, and hopefully France will then actually like us which would be nice yeah I can't believe that I can't believe that they're almost tolerating us even though they're worried about their identity right England um, this bankruptcy thing should be gone now you've recently got oh no okay so it's a okay fine um, so what we could probably do change tax policy Okay, that'll chill them out. That'll chill them out. Okay, we're going to probably go back into debt. Yeah, we are. But, hopefully that will chill them out for a turn and they can calm down and then we can start doing good stuff again. Oh, my goodness me. Oh. Oh, I tell you what, there's some delicate souls on this map we've got to take care of. Right, let's get this Spanish raider off our... Off the uh, trade ports, and then I think we'll be good. Oh, hello. Who's this? Uh, Lucio de Balboa. 
38 gun. Should not be a problem. Okay, here's the fleet. Um, it's a bit, bit missed. Let's start the. There we go. We'll come over here. Let's actually go to Chain. We'll see if we can capture her. 38 gun frigate. Um, that could certainly go well in the home fleet in the channel. Mind you, we don't have the cash to repair her. But, uh. Yeah, it's a good, good, strong fleet. This we've got the um, Agincourt, 50 gun, fourth rate. The Victoria, 122 gun, ship of the line. Obviously, only got 93 guns at the moment. Active, bit damage. Uh, pickup, 106 gun, first rate. Shannon, 80 gun, third rate. Only 73 guns, obviously. And the uh, Tamier, Tamier, Tamiri, and the ship at the back. Right, we've got chain shot loaded because we're going to see if we can capture her. I think the chain shot from these first rates should be quite devastating. You can see there's some of the holes in the uh, on, on this side and the starboard side, anyway. Yeah, it'd be nice to get some cash and repair our fleets, but um, they're just kind of doing what they can. They're not badly damaged or anything like that. The uh, bow chasers on the first rate. Right. She's taking a bit of a bit of damage. She seems to have stalled in the uh, in the water. The uh, marine snipers are going fully on board with her crew. Only lost one man, mind you, but let's have a look. Wait for this uh, broadside to come out. Winning slightly, oh, I suppose, because she's not taking hull damage. Is that what they're saying? She's winning slightly. Fire. Why didn't she fire? That's a bit weird. Oh no. I've uh, I selected an individual one rather than the uh, the fleet. Well uh, see if we can just take some of their crew out. worth it. Right, you turn away. They're going to take, these first rates are going to take forever to turn around, so we'll break up the other uh, line and get the faster ships to uh, chase her. Yeah, that's a better way of Turning around and chasing. Right. You go that way. Let's try and do a split. Still trying to hit the... Uh, It's always a bit of a false sense where you're trying to capture the ship and the other ship's trying to kill you. So you're trying to do minimum damage to it. No joy hitting these uh, sails, are we? And the rigging.
The sails are almost tatters, but um Demastered? No, you're not demastered though, or is it just a graphical thing? Okay, apparently she has been demastered, but I don't see that. Or is it just because the sails have been that shot to pieces? Continue. Uh, I want to make sure, right. Put all the others into a temporary repair. So they won't fire and um, they may be able to pick some of the damage and hopefully these guys are capturing oh brilliant she's got nowhere to go Grapples. Oh, I think her, her mask finally um, uh, came off. Right. right. No one else fire, please. Stand down, everyone else. Oh, close victory. There we go. We took a bit of damage, but we were able to capture the ship, which is the main thing. Hurrah. Excellent. There we go. So the Spanish ship just gave us another ship, although it's slightly damaged and we need to get it repaired. We have another 38-gun frigate now, which is lovely. Let's say that can either bolster Cornwallis' fleet, to, which Captain? it is currently, um, or we can... Uh... There you go, Cornwallis, confident admiral. Good grasp of naval tactics. Well, thank you very much. And then that should uh, allow more money to flow through here for us, at least. Good, good. Does that help the predictive cash? No, it's got worse. Ah, oh, is that because we've lowered the tax in England? Uh, so if we pop that there. Okay, it hasn't helped either way. But we're going to pop that down, aren't we? Just to try and chill everyone out a little bit and hopefully earn some... Oh my goodness me. What we need is more troops down here, really, I suppose, to... Do we have any troops? Up in Scotland, we could march them down. Oh, it's not ideal, is it? I've oh, got some unit of troops in um, Ireland, actually. That's interesting. Right. Um, do we have a... Did we put that ship... No, we didn't have any cash, did we? Interesting. Okay. So if we get a ship from here, we'll put them back into the channel here. We'll send the Corvette on, and we'll get some of those troops from Ireland into England. And hopefully that will calm... Um, you know, a little bit of... Repression of the um, rebellious ideas, and we can take that on further excellent right but we're gonna to have to do that next time so oh what a day we've had quite a bit going on today we've been able to clear a french blockade here we've been able to clear um spanish raiders here uh we've got the guns finally down to gibraltar so that army can move on to madrid hopefully um i'm gonna get more trade ships uh on the ivory get that back as best we can get more cash coming back to blighty uh england and the nobles have got a bit peed off with paying tax which you can understand so we've had to lower taxes which is going to put us into uh bankruptcy which is going to cause them more stress which is a bit of a vicious cycle really but on the plus side 
We've cleared out all the remain well, most of the remaining nuisance French armies uh, and rebel armies off our French territory. And Michael Stoll here is going to go to try and get rid of the Swiss, and then that should calm them down properly. And as you can see, um, the nobles are, you know, tolerant of us. What what, what word do they call indifferent to us? And uh, the, the lower class is still angry, but that's okay. France is looking we can you know okay we hopefully get some tax in from them soon next time we can obviously try and clear out the Swiss keep working on the English and the Parisians um, get those some of those Irish troops into England just to calm matters down and obviously this is where the riots had took place which is a bit of a pain we don't quite how much is that gonna cost to repair obviously more than we've got three nine hundred Good God. They did a lot of damage there. Uh, but we'll pick this up again next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying Napoleon Total War. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.